Man, this piece, wow, wow, wow. Check out, look at this piece. Shane, what's inside these egg cartons? Oh my gosh. Hey everybody, how you doing today? Robert Zabel here, the auctioneer extraordinaire second sense auctions. I got Super Shane back at the hoarder house. This house. They've had stuff here since 1950, they moved in, I believe. And so over 70 years of accumulation, and they didn't throw anything away. There's so much great stuff we keep finding all over the place. We got to go through this table, see what we can find. We're going to work away the lip around the living room. There's a, a room over there we haven't gone through. Still the basement, so pff, another room over there we haven't gone through. So much more to go through. I can't wait to see. Once again, if you want to see what we find, make sure you subscribe. It's free. This way you don't miss anything. Check out the shorts. Check out all of our videos. And man, so let's look at this table. I mean, right away, we got this little side table, which is nice. Vintage Christmas right there. All the old bulbs. And then you got to always have to make sure there's no drawers on these kind of tables. Then up here, look at this. Vintage battery charger. We got some old books up here. We got paperwork, and these people kept all kind of stuff, so it's just stacked up, packed up. All right, this is a nice drop leaf table right here, and then we got all kind of stuff on this table. Obviously, lots of paperwork, some the old wood spools of thread, aluminum magnifier. It's in there. Original box, probably brand new. Look at that. I guarantee it's brand new. Toothpicks. <laughs> this is pretty cool. 1977 B supplies. And it has the Boy Scout logo on the front. You get all your B stuff in there, 1977. And this is just all cards. Popular Science, 1960. What is this? <laughs> right here. Brand new flash bulbs. These are actually worth money. A physician's house book. More books. Back to Eden. There's a little picture in there. Oh, right here. That could be Sterling Handle. Kind of little metal feather. What is this? It says night lighter. Photo eye. So I don't think that was what. So this is something completely different than what was in here, I believe. Night lighter. Yeah, I don't think that's a photo eye. What is this? Magnifying lens. Another little loop. <laughs> matches. Oh, are they smoke? Got some old matchbooks here. These people had tons. Look at that red lobster one. Vintage goodness there. Belkins. Oh, wow. You're going to like these, Shane. Holy smoke. What do you think? They awesome or what? They're awesome. It's like a statement piece, right? Definitely. I get some orange shoes to match this, bro. Mm -hmm. Go to the Cavs games next year. What are you thinking? I like it. You think people confuse me with storage legends? <laughs> no. Those are awesome. I wonder what year those are from. I know those are self for some good money. All kind of good shades in here. Vintage goodness. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. Talk about money. Old glass paperweights. And we got more, Shane. 
Look at that blue pair. Very nice piece. There's another one. Wow. Beautiful with the flowers. So paperweight can be very, very, oh, very valuable. And so can these. Whole jar of old marbles. There's a brass horse over here. And then I see another paperweight back there. And then right there, Shane, is the matching table that matches this table. So we got a pair of matching end tables. The weather forecaster, how to use it. That's pretty cool. Old ashtray stand people. These always sell well. The pedestal ashtrays. Got the marble base. Glass ashtray still in there. <laughs> oh smoke. It's the cat and mouse little game, de dexterity game. Guide the bounds. So we got more books in here, some magazines. You are what you eat. Who knows how old this is, but it's old. Right, we got more stuff down here. Old TV antenna. Looks like personal paperwork. What is this? No way. There it is. That's the crazy thing. Almost everything they have is has the box with it and the manual. Some's brand new, some's been used. Use papers to stack up out there, Shane. 1979. This looks like all these are from 1979. It was a good year to newspapers. Oh, what is this? Look at that triple A flashlight. You know that's collectible. It has some damage on there, but still a nice piece. That could be a $20, $50 bill. I'm not sure. Now we got some piece of chocolate here, Shane. Oh, it's actually, these are called TV lights. And you used to put this on top of your TV and you'd light it up in the back. It has a little chip here, but it's made of chalkware. And uh, people do collect these. Some old staplers. Homemade day survives. <laughs> That's kind of cool. It's an old little tin litho trash can. You got the whole world on there. Got the whole world in your hand. Got the whole world in your hand. We got Life Magazine. Where's this one? See this Life Magazine? Oh, here we go. 1971 Life Magazine. Check out this. Is that a cool fan or what? Mm -hmm. The old Bornado. So back here we have some we got a nice tin litho globe. It's got the months on the bottom and everything else. You put the globe in position where it would be this time of year. Oh, look at this. Now that is a nice ashtray. So that's Nippon. This is hand painted. Unfortunately, they put like a rock in here or something. other things and marbles in there we'll have to get those things out this. this is the kind of stuff you just find in this this house antique glasses look at this ashtray right here uh-oh sounds like something's in there shane oh look at that marbles some kind of foreign coin this is like a top for a lamp it's weird you just never know what you're gonna find but that's a cool ashtray it's pushed down and it spins so cigarette buds and all the ashes go inside. Cleans it off. Washable blue cartridges for a pen. 
statues. We got this little deer here. Got this horse right here. This is a plastic horse, but it's old. It's back here. Oh, look at that. Reverse painted. Garfield Memorial, Cleveland, Ohio. Wow, that's pretty cool. Ferris Tavern, 13th Annual Golf Tournament, 1965. The Super Atomatic, dollars, dimes, and cents. And there's just so much, I mean, we're in one little spot. Just so much, so much vintage goodness. France. Britain. And this, like, orange globe plastic. I don't know what it's for. What is this? What is this little box? <laughs> Call formula from Finest. Here's another glass tray here. And then what is, I mean, look at this giant... I don't know what this is. This is caution. Insecticide. Look at this. Oh my gosh. So it's marked down there. Huge piece. Good piece right there. This whole place is just loaded with good pieces. And so and so. I'm blown out. So what's in the drawer, Shane? You know, I love George. Definitely got a lot of old cards and paperwork. Bunch of old little Bibles. Reading eyeglass. That's in there. Some matchbooks. Oh, this looks interesting. Seventy-two National something bank. What is this? Salon type vibrator. Large professional size. Relax. Soothe tired muscles. Ease nervous tensions. Look at the dust dust on there. Look at that dust. This actual box of Kleenex. Fashion, fun, and function. Military. Reader's Digest. That's the book in there. Jaws 2. Ooh. Now that's cool. 10 cents. 1942, Canucks Illustrated, World Almanac 65, Reader Digest, that's an old Bible, looks like it's in German, 1910, Did Die Bible. So we got all kind of stuff here. So this is some old paperwork. What is this? <laughs> Little twisty tie things or pipe cleaners for making stuff. Paperwork. Cards. Old, old keyboard here. An etude. And then this I thought was a radio, but it's actually electronic air purifier. What do we got down here? Oh, nice smoke. This looks like it's all old pictures. The old Cotton Club whiskey. What's inside here? This is a new grown American grown mixed grass. Huh? So 
selling stuff, I guess. Uh, let's see what's inside here. I'm sure that your child will read. <laughs> let's say you have some vintage stuff. Ben Her. Go over and pitch your classic. It's definitely old. Pretty cool. The Argyles. What do you think? Looking good? Looking good, Shan? Looking good. Note to students and teachers. 1958. Fourth easy drawing book. 1976. <laughs> Look at those dudes golfing. Vintage goodness. Art. So we'll probably sell these old art magazines. There's all kind of books down here. Story D Day. Story of Winston Churchill. Pope John Paul the 23rd. Portrait of Skipper. Soupy Sales and Bewitched. So that's pretty cool. And there's this whole thing down here just loaded with old magazines and paper. All right. Ooh, what's in here? I think we found some records, Shane. I think we found some records. Paul Revere and the Raiders. Not bad. This thing, let's see what's inside the bag. Well, at least you like that brand new records that were open. Henry Hazel. Oh, you don't have this one. Remember you were looking when I look at the Calvary? Because you had the other one. Sunshine Moon. You know people out there, somebody's out there like, man, I, I got the whole collection now, Sunshine. What is this? Oh, this is cool. Air India. So they probably hand this out on the flight. Warner Brothers. Yu Chun King Moon Festival. Those are the recipes. The Belvedere's. Play for you. Bossa Nova. Stop dancing. The Mills Brothers. A piece of cardboard. Columbia Masterworks. Ernie Ford. Oh, you just bought that one the other day. You don't need that one for your collection. The Monkeys. That's good. It's in there. Looks good. It doesn't look bad from here at all. I see some dust, that's about it. Connie Francis, Pope Paul the fourth or sixth. Jim Neighbors. You ever hear Jim Neighbors sing? That guy's a crooner. It's been a while. <laughs> that guy's a crooner. He used to be Gomer Pyle on this one show. The Cheater, Roger Miller, Fitzgerald Kennedy, Kennedy, Square Dance, Songs of Music, Nat King Cole. So there's a few things in here that gonna be worth a few bucks. Mostly not worth a lot of money. I just realized this outdoor picture it's actually, I thought it was a mural on the wall, but you can actually, so we're gonna sell that thing. That's gonna be pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. And just remember, New York's the Big Apple, but Cleveland, it's the plum. And look down here. Tim Litho Caboose. Some paperwork, and this is the kind of the house you just don't know. You get to look through every piece. And as we go through things, there's gonna be things we're missed already. We're gonna find. 
here it looks like a bunch of old cards. Birthday messages and stuff like that. Hopefully they're full. This one looks like it's never open. That probably was open. I got a little recharge with that shaver on here, but it looks like it's actually jump rope chain. All right, we do have some stuff over here. Look at that old clock. The dust on here. <sighs> 19 cents, Shane. Wow, loaded with jewelry. Ooh, I like this tin. Toy cookies? Mm. Oh, more jewelry. Brand new old stock. Jewelry. Oh, this case looks awesome. Oh, look at that. That is a nice piece. This must open up. Lock it. Give that to your woman with your picture in there, Shane. Oh, look at this. Just how old that case is. Could be Bakelite. Man. It's definitely some old. Old costume jewelry. Could be sterling there. This whole place is just loaded with costume jewelry. Oh wow. Butterfly pen. Man, this piece. Wow, wow, wow. Check out. Look at this piece. <laughs> that is beautiful. There's a clasp on there. It's old. That's an old piece. Uh, I know someone loved this piece. Oh, it's brand new. That's even better. Frogs. Look at $100. Or maybe a dollar. But! <laughs> Got little gold necklaces here. And all kind of pieces of jewelry, stones. Oh, look at this big box. <sighs> Nothing. Oh, wow. Oh, here's some cool pieces. Old, old costume jewelry. Obviously, they like butterflies. Nice ring in there. Old pens. Clip on earrings. <clears throat> now that box looks really cool. E I T. This old metal box. Perfect. All right, Look at that old plastic little bunny floss <laughs> cartload sample saltwater taffy. <laughs> look at this! Look at this! More jewelry everywhere you look. This looks like they are making jewelry out of this stuff. You gotta check everything in this place, you just don't know. What the hell is that? 
gold piece there. We can find gold, you can find silver. This whole thing looks like it's just full of beads, old beads. Eggs? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, in an egg carton. Just never know what you're going to find. Look at all that. Got some kind of little crown here. Jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. St. Christopher, and then look at the back. Has all different ways of transportation. Very cool. This is an interesting looking box right here. Look at all these old pins and buttons. Here's like a necklace down here. Your man, my name is William Torres. <laughs> More old beads. What's in the box? So that looks like a wire to make jewelry. There's a little bottle. Oh, this is nice. Look at that. The lift top. See, it looks like a baseball cap. And then see, this is a cork cap. So they added that on later. So that's an old, old cap. Some of those cork caps can bring good money. Right here, this is an old pencil. And here's the pen, probably. These old sets are worth money. Three of them in there. <laughs> we got here. Looks like we got old toys. Look at this. Old bouncy balls. Now I used to have these type of BBs. I had a gun that used to shoot these type of BBs. The rubber BBs like that. Floral stuff. What the heck? I know a lot of people don't know this, but I was a master kazoo player back in 1982. Just joking. Alright. Those are the coolest kazoos, though. There's two of them here. Old Q tips. You gotta search every box, you just don't know what you're gonna find. Like this. <laughs> what is this thing? Oh, it's like an old syringe right there. It's loaded with jewelry. Jewelry. Oh, these are buttons actually, and beads. An old clasp. Tons of sewn stuff. More bead stuff. What the heck are these, man? Oh, this is like the old kids play thing, maybe. Alright, now Shane, what's inside these play cartons? Oh my gosh. More jewelry. More jewelry. Oh, these are all like beads and stuff. Shells. Oh, no way. Oh, wow. It's an old tin litho. Xylophone. All the pieces are there. Just needs to be re strung. Cool, huh? Mm -hmm. 
bonded blades. This is old razor blade container. More pieces of old jewelry down here. That looks pretty nice. Old costume earring, maybe. Push hair, if you know CPR. What the heck? These are old pieces for purses. The old flapper chain purses. Bottle or uh, can tops things and who knows. All kind of little screws. What is this piece? Huh? Old little kids comb. Ooh, look at this box. Look at this box. Go across. What the heck is in here? Tile pieces. Set. There's old beads in here. Got these guys for the pulling the rickshaw. Some bling bling. <laughs> 